Hello Taurus, Taurus Rising and Taurus Moon people, back here with your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the first week of the new year, January 1st, 2018. Finally got Rambo to start sitting down and making home on this couch. It is his couch anyway, it's been his couch for ages, but you know, he, used to, he was enamored with the new place and now he's over it. So, um, quick reminder for anyone, if you do want to ever get a session with me, you do need to follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on with your astrology this week anyhow? Well, it seems to be the middle of the week has the best juice. And we've got the sun in Capricorn in your ninth house of higher education, government, legal proceedings, and travel, um, as well as Venus in the same area, both making sextiles to Neptune in your 11th house of friendships and social networking. And this is going to be happening, um, you know, again, almost in sequence. The Sun uh, overnight, Tuesday to Wednesday, Venus overnight, Wednesday to Thursday. And when the Sun is making this sextile, you know, we have some kind of big opportunity to embark on a new quest or a new journey with a friend that may actually prove to have some big payback or big payoff when it comes to uh, either a, a work situation that we're involved in, maybe we're traveling for recreation, or maybe this has to do with expanding on your education or even propagating um, a dream or even a business or an art project that you've been working on, getting it that 15 minutes of fame that it might need to finally you know, pick up some traction. Venus is all about the love in this area, and you may be finding out that there could be love being introduced to you, um, or love opportunities coming to you through a friend, something that is from outside, again, your culture, outside of either your national culture, um, your spiritual culture, and this seems to be something coming through a friend. A friend is bridging the gap here for you. So all kinds of new faces and all kinds of new places, but also at the same time, something that's really going to uh, sort of expand your horizons in terms of love and business, which of course are the big two that most people ask about, so it's nice to see those both getting a boon at the same time. At Tuesday through Thursday. So what's going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the moon. And the moon in this deck is different than the moon in the tarot. Um, the moon in this deck, the prompt reads, you will be guided through darkness, okay? And so for a lot of you Taurus people, this card can indicate a need to pay attention to doing it another person's way. Um, this could show up as a friend, a mentor, a guardian, uh, somebody close who's basically coming to be your stalwart, standing fast. You know, the person who's there to protect you, the person who's there to give you the good advice, the person who's there to sort of conquer a problem that you're not conquering yourself. Now, the thing about the moon is to pay attention. When we're talking about doing it another person's way, it may come contrary to our natural instincts, you know, not necessarily asking for help or, or, or looking at it from a different perspective, but sometimes what can happen is, is we might think another person's approach is too soft or too hard. You know, we may think that, they, they, I don't know if I want to do it his way, he doesn't exactly have a light touch, or I don't know if I want to do it her way because it feels like it's going to take too long. All wrong. This week we're trying to, you know, we're, we're taking on um, the example of another person's problem-solving style. And it may actually be one of the things that does help a lot, you know, and again, other people are going to help out, so don't be that person, Taurus, who, um, you know, has to solve everything on their own. You know, this is not a situation where too many cooks spoil the soup. This may be a situation where it's like, another cook may save it. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, you do have the Temperance card up right. And we are blending this week with a brand new, I guess you could say, not only work ethic, but maybe again a brand new work culture. You may be noticing that there is a lot more um, stimulating conversation, but also lucrative opportunities um, coming to your workspace or a work opportunity because of the change in clientele or the change in office population. The Temperance card can indicate whatever this is, is going to be bringing in some kind of fresh new approach that again is attracting, you know, I guess you could say more money, more upward mobility, more, you know, more possibilities there. Uh, we have the best yet to come towards the end of the month anyway and into February for you guys in terms of career. But the Temperance card upright is saying that a dramatic shift or is going to be, you'll notice a dramatic shift happening when we have 
you know, again, you're blending into almost like a whole new crew. It's almost like you're not even working the same job anymore. But what seems to be going on is, again, it's an upgrade. It's a necessary repair on, I guess you could say, maybe the tried and true, which is a bit out of date. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we have the Empress reversed. Um, this card is not necessarily the a fun card to have because the Empress Reverse can indicate an issue going on uh, with somebody who you notice is becoming a bit clingy um, or a bit needy or a bit controlling or sometimes it's all of the above. The Empress Reverse might not necessarily be a romantic partner. Like I said, you can have clingy, difficult, or possibly even codependent friends. You can have clingy, difficult, codependent relatives. Um, but the problem is with the Empress Reversed is that this person is now actively competing for your time and your energy and kind of trying on purpose to maybe compete with other priorities you have. You know, if you notice that, say, a friend is trying to compete with other friends for your attention and now they're not even being shy about it, maybe a partner um, or a crush is doing the whole, well, now it's all about me, friends step back thing, or maybe it's a relative competing with another relative, kids competing with other kids. It's important to pay attention to where this, yeah, we could always try and be as understanding as possible and say this might be a cry for help, you know, uh, but at the same time, this is not the way. Justified as they may be, or maybe they're not justified, they just have reasons. Maybe the reasons are perfectly valid. We still have to correct the bad way that they're going about it. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Ten of Cups reversed. Um, be careful this week with folks who are trying to make everything look perfect on the outside, again, to cover up for something that is maybe not all there or all too wholesome on the inside. The Ten of Cups reverse can show up where people are trying, they're, they're kind of doing the fake it till you make a thing the wrong way. If we make it look as pretty and wonderful as possible, maybe some of the more dysfunctional aspects of the situation will correct themselves. The problem is the Ten of Cups reverse, that's totally wrong. Now again, I feel like that might be the Empress reversed, um, you know, or it may actually be another person. Be careful, again, we are going to have to take a new tact. It looks like everything is talking about where, Taurus, have you been just way too lenient with something that you know is not actually okay. It's okay to admit when something bothers you. You don't have to worry about hurting people's feelings, and you certainly don't want to placate and pander, okay? For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Nine of Cups upright. Beautiful card, beautiful card, because, well, the Nine of Cups upright indicates a wish being granted in, in, in its base form. And with the Nine of Cups, I'm kind of feeling, okay, well, maybe when it comes to the Taurus people, there's a yes answer. Maybe you decide to ask somebody out this week and you find out he or she says, hell, why the heck not? Let's go get that drink. The Nine of Cups can indicate also perhaps a partner or a crush going out of their way to fulfill a wish they know you've made. They may be taking something off the table for you. Remember, you will be guided through darkness with the moon card. This may be something to consider if this person is perhaps fulfilling your mission or a mission of yours for you. This is actually a gift. and This is a gift of love. It's definitely not something you want to be possessive with. You know, sometimes us earth signs can be possessive with our to-do lists. Um, it looks like a partner is going out of their way to be your hero this week, and there may be something very special in that. Or perhaps you decide you want to see if a wish or a desire you've always had is able to be fulfilled by a partner, and it looks like it can. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.